I will run through the tiers now. So yep. tier one, I it hurt not to include him. I had it because I don't really know where else to throw him. Um, I do have Devin Williams in there. Um, yep. I also have Edwin Diaz, Josh Hader, Emmanuel Classe, and Camilo Duvall. That is the God tier. Those are top five uh, relief pitchers. Um, top four if you take out Devin Williams because you yep. kind of have to at this point. Um, so that is tier one. I got to um, ask you about uh, Diaz. Are you nervous about him coming off the injury? No, not really. No, if it was an elbow or a shoulder, yes. Right. But this is a leg, lower body injury. He already yeah, all, looked like he was year. ready to throw the end of the year last year. He's had a full, full year of recovery. And, and he's he looked good this looks spring. Good. Yeah, yeah, he looks good. Yeah, I and mean, I saw Josh Hader hasn't looked good in spring. Um, so, again, we value spring when we want to, and we just devalue it when we don't want to. It's just how we do it. We make up our own rules, right? Right. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, Josh Hader's one that's I'm not too worried about. You know, I there is Ryan Presley back there if you want to get some insurance, if you have Josh Hader. But I'm not too worried about him. I think he's going to be just fine. Um, moving on to the second tier. This is kind of the solid RP1. Um, and I have Rysel Iglesias here, as well as Jordan Romano, David Bednar, and Alexis Diaz. Now, I could have potentially moved up Romano and Bednar if they weren't injured. Um, but with those injuries kind of floating around, I'm certainly not comfortable taking them, you know, near Duvall or Class A. So I think this that does bump them down a little bit. Um, and Alexis Diaz, you know, you know how much I love my Reds guys, brother of Edwin Diaz. So um, could potentially return quite and a bit of value there. Potential trade piece, I think. You know, if if the team's doing really well, the Reds are out of it. He's the type of guy that could get moved to a good team. I think. I know he's young, but still with relievers, those are also the guys you have to keep an eye on as the season goes on. We talk about the guys who can get traded into a better role, but maybe less saves, versus the guy sitting behind the guys who can get traded. Right. Yeah, and Bednar was a guy that we were kind of thinking for the last few years might get traded. Um, he hasn't, so I think. You know, I don't see why the Pirates would, would move him now. And the Reds, you know, as, for as much as we've talked about how good they are, it looks like a third of their starting lineup now is going to start the year, you know, either on PED suspension or on the injured list. So they, they've they taken a couple hits. So, um, you know, they're, they're going to have quite a bit, quite a ways to bounce back. Major League Baseball with the positive PR hits, just one after the other. <laughs> Um, next, so tier three, I label, this is the low end RP one, high end RP two territory. Um, you feel good if one of these guys is your, you know, your RP one, but I'd like to double tap here and end up with two of these guys or, um, something like that. And so in this tier, I have Paul Seawald, Andres Munoz, uh, Pete Fairbanks, Evan Phillips, Ryan Housley, Tanner Scott, Clay Holmes, Craig Kimbrell, and Adbert Alzelay. Um, Quite I'm a bunch proud of owner, there. by the way, of Paul Seawald. Thank you. Good, good Big, yep. choice. Yep. Um, Paul Seawald's been phenomenal for the last three years. Can't, yeah. Can't I, hate I, I, I think he's a good underrated guy. You know, I don't know. Yeah, and so his ADP right now is 101. So you are paying a little bit. I mean, that's, you know, certainly a, a, a pretty high pick. Yeah, uh, but I think he's in on our a draft, he went and... later than that, right? Probably. Well, yeah, our draft yeah, doing cause... saves and holds. Exactly. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, and we will talk about some of those names. I have one of those names on my best value uh, of the day. So stay tuned for that. Um, tier, sorry, do you want to mention anything else there? No, I, I'm going to stay tuned for that. Okay. Um, tier four, I have definite RP2. And so, yeah, I definitely do a little bit of a deeper dive with RPs because there's just so many names of guys who are going to have an impact. So um, tier two, a definite RP2 territory. Um, Kenley Jansen, Jose Alvarado, Alex Lang, and Jose Leclerc. Um, tier five, I have as RP3 territory. And this is where I put Mason Miller. A lot of people have been loving Mason Miller. Um, I also have Carlos Estevez. 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 Uh, Kyle Finnegan, your guy. Yanier Cano, Jason Adam, Will Smith, James MacArthur, and Matt Brash to close it out. So I love Kyle Finnegan. I actually do like teams. We talked about this earlier. Teams that are low scoring, teams that are going to be in a lot of close games, it's almost better than a great team. Like the Dodgers, mm -hmm. like how valuable is their closer? Of course, they're going to win some close games too. But the Dodgers might just smash everyone, right? And score a million runs and you're not, you're not going to get as many save opportunities. Whereas we talked about like the Arizona Diamondbacks and Seawald, right? Like he'll have a bunch of save opportunities, right? There's, uh, there's data on that actually. And I, I don't have it in front of me, but I've heard many times that 
the teams that are between 85 and 90 wins, that's where you tend to get most of your saves because you're absolutely right. If a team's too good, they're going to blow out. You know, look at Trevor Hoffman's career, you know, (laughs) he was versus Mariano Rivera, who ultimately it took him longer to get to that save number. You know what I mean? Because he was on a great Yankee team that won a lot of big games. Right. Like, and if you look at some of them from last year, you know, uh, Camilo Duvall, right. He, I think, led the league in saves. I don't remember if he was first or second, but him and class A, like. The Guardians the and the ball. Giants are not yep. the Braves and the Dodgers, but they continue to lead. So, well, specifically the Guardians who struggle to score runs, you know, typically. Yeah. Yeah. So that's something to definitely keep an eye on um, as we, you know, as we get through, go throughout the season.